Hey everybody, I'm Dave. I'm here at beautiful Paul Reed Smith factory in lovely, rainy today, Stevensville, Maryland. And we're taking a look at a brand new amp. This is the Archon 50. It's a 50 watt amp, a pair of 6L6s powering it. Uh, you can lower the power down to 25 watts, make it a, a little bit more bedroom friendly. It's got two channels, a clean and a lead. Each have their own EQ, each have their own volume. There are separate master volumes for the two channels, which is awesome. It has a depth knob. Uh, there's also a global presence knob. It has an effects loop in the back. And one of the best things about this amp, you can check your bias and you can rebias it simply. And that's a big thing, you know, for a lot of players to uh, retube your own amp, rebias it. A lot of players are thinking, I got to take it to some amp shop and it's going to cost, you know, however much money. But they cleverly have the uh, bias uh, meter reading little modules in the back, and then there's a little switch right inside of it. So you don't have to take the chassis out or anything like that. That to me is a big deal. That's a really great thing. So thanks to PRS for putting that in. So I'm going to play through uh, all the channels here, clean and dirty, and I'm going to give you a little bit of range here. I'm going to play over a track so you can also hear it in context. So just by itself, Here's the clean. I'm going to turn the loop off. It has a foot switch. Of course, you can change your channels and you can turn on and off the loop here. I'm going to turn the loop off so you hear it completely dry. This is the clean channel. Like I said, completely dry. Very balanced kind of sound and you know you can do a lot with the EQs because each channel has its own EQ and then the global depth and presence knob as well you can pretty much dial in absolutely anything you want as far as an EQ is concerned now let me throw on the track and I'm gonna play the clean channel in context with the track So here we've got the clean channel dimed, the preamp volume, so that's going to give us a lot of nice punch and some good breakup. Not a ton of saturation, but it's got some really nice breakup. So here's just some of that gain completely dry. So really kind of British almost, you know, it's got that great bite to it, some great aggression to it, and some of that great breakup. <laughs> We're now on the lead channel. This channel has a lot of gain and it's awesome. It's extremely responsive. So we've got the, I don't know, the preamp volume in between nine and 10 o'clock, if you're thinking of it like a clock. And to demonstrate the responsiveness of it, we're gonna leave that alone. And I've got my volume knobs here. I'm using both pickups here. And I've got my volume knobs both uh, around four. And so we've got dirt. <laughs> Uh, but we're pulling it back a lot and the amp is so responsive to this. It's cleaning up nicely. Just from my touch here, I can...
So it's got tons of responsive punch and dynamics coming out of it just from the guitar. So now let me roll this up here. And now it can tear your head off with the amount of gain. And again, we haven't touched the amp at all. That's just me controlling the guitar. And again, that gain is barely over a quarter of the way up. Lots of gain. And of course, we could not finish this little demo here without completely diming the lead channel here. So we do have our preamp volume, which is the same thing as gain, um, cranked. So here's the result of that. Mm -hmm. 